this video I'm going to demonstrate a special little feature that um, no other ATM controller has at the moment including the Blackmagic's ATM um, and for this particular demonstration I'm just going to take advantage of using a little invention that I made here for holding down buttons it holds down the shift button and this holds down the enter button which is what I need to do in demonstrating this particular video so for the moment those buttons are off okay so to the point here um, just again a quick recap if you want to um, change inputs on the um, on the um, oh, wrong button, GVG um, to con controlling ATM we just hit the buttons as we normally do here and as you can see as I'm changing them here they're just changing separate inputs um, and then if you hold your finger on the shift button which my little magic trick here you can hold the shift button down you can see now that we're controlling inputs 11 to 20 and um, the same with the preview row the inputs 11 to 20 and as you can see up here I'm switching the preview row so that gives you the ability of switching 20 inputs on a 10 input or 10 button uh, panel okay so this little trick here we're actually um, going to show you how you can use these buttons to actually switch something totally different and in this case by using the select button as you know the shift button allows you to imp switch inputs 11 to 20 if you use the enter button with any of the 10 cross points it allows you to switch still store inputs on the and the program row will switch the media player one the preview row will switch media player two and this works with all ATM switches including the TVS um, and if you hold your finger down on the enter button which is this button here while selecting it will it'll switch the media player one for program row to line and then switch the, each individual still and same with the preview row but switch the media player 2 and in conjunction with the with the shift button hit up here which is next to it it will then give you stills 11 to 20 for media player 1 and stills 11 to 20 on media player 2 and for the demonstration I'm just going to quickly show you what I've set up here go over to the ATM panel and I'm going to select the media player I'm going to do this looking at the corner of the iPhone somewhere here I have my cursor there it is media player and then you notice in here I've got I've just made up 20 stills all with their particular numbers on so starting at top left is number one then we go all the way to bottom right is number 20 so 11 to 20 uh, sorry ten, uh, 1 to 1 to 20 so we've come back to the panel here and using my special little tool here we're going to hold down the select button or the enter button and now as I'm switching between the inputs you can come back here you see now it's switching rather than the camera inputs it's switching the um, um, still stores so these are the consecutive numbered stills in the still store and of course if you do it to the preview row and you know, I've still got the shift button the I'm uh, sorry the um, enter button held down and come back here I can then select the preview row and then if you hold your finger on the now this is going to be tricky I'm going to use my little trick here to hold the enter button down which will then give me 11 to 20 on normal inputs so they're switching 11 to 20 on normal inputs and same with the preview row 11 to 20 and you know say flash so I'm going to use GPI 0 here which I've actually got programmed to be the enter button so now I can actually hold both buttons down and by holding this down and switching these inputs you see, oh, hold the button down, you'll see it's actually switching still stores 11 to 20. Now, 
in a real world, and you can see the same thing happens here on the preview row, um, but in the, in the real world you wouldn't have a, a paddle pop stick pushing down a button. You would actually have your fingers to be able to hold the buttons down. It's very hard to do when you've got, you got an iPhone in your hand trying to video with the proceedings. But just to give you an example by doing it single-handed, um, again, if you just hold your finger on the on the end button, which is the finger and thumb, you can see here I can just switch them there. So here I'm switching between what, what I can reach, but if I take my finger off the end of button, you'll see it'll actually go, yeah, I'll do it on input 10 for instance. So there's input 10, there's input 10 normal, and if I hit input 10 again with the end of button push, you see it goes to still stand 10. So I can do it really quickly. So it doesn't hinder um, the operation, the normal operation. Here I am just normally operating using the panel and it's just doing what it has to do. So if you hold your finger on the end of button and hit the same input you'll get that particular still that you put in the still store. And of course all the tallies will follow the still so even if you're in um, the still store over here you see over here um, I'm just going to put my little magic trick down again so I can switch the inputs and you can see as I'm switching here it's actually switching the still the still inputs here and there's the preview row there's a media player too and of course if I switch the still stores I haven't got the thing on but that's um, basically how you can use um, the uh, Grass Valley panel with all your stills loaded and be able to um, go between them. And of course, um, let's take that off there, you can you know, dissolve between them. There's dissolving between there and there. And then I can even, like on the preset row, I can say, get my written next to that, and then you can dissolve back, forward, backwards, and forwards. And then you can then come back and just select another source on and then you're out of the stills. So it's all very easy, very easy to use even though I make things seem far too complicated than what they really are. Done.